Hey guys, so I'm back on the road again. Um, I just finished eating over at the Pecan Lodge. That was amazing. That brisket was super good, super juicy, super tender. Um, couldn't probably ask it for any, any better way. It was cooked almost perfectly, if not it was perfect. As you ate it, it just fell off right off. Um, when you pulled it apart, you didn't really have to put too much effort. It just kind of fell apart. Real juicy. Um, had a lot of flavor. The fat. I don't know about the why. Like the fat just made the actual meat itself that much sweeter and enjoyable. In all honesty. Anyway. Um, Yeah, so I'm just walking around, uh, heading over to the big eye display, the big eyeball display. It's an art uh, piece that they have in the city, so I'll catch you guys then. All right, I think I can talk for a little longer. Um, anyway, I guess a little bit more about the Pecan Lodge. Uh, I kind of looked it up online, and um, I think it said it was on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives with Guy Fieri, because... Uh, when I went there, they had like a display of all their awards and um, Guy's usual like placard and signature was there, so yeah, that was cool. Definitely worth checking out if you guys are going to be in Dallas or live in Dallas, Main Street, check it out. It's a really good place. I highly recommend it. Um, I wouldn't say it's inexpensive, but you get a decent amount for what you pay for, I guess. Um, they have this uh, beef rib, and each single rib is a pound, which is absolutely insane. I didn't get to see it because no one ordered it, but I think it was like 22 bucks for just a single rib. Or no, not a single, but like... Or was this? I don't remember, right? I don't know, but um... Yeah, that's a pound of meat for a single rib. That's insane. Imagine having like a rack of those. Oh my god. That should be like a challenge. But uh... Yeah. Um... I also had their handmade sausage. I thought that was pretty good. For how popular it was, the line wasn't very long, which I was really surprised about. Um, and you know, honestly, it was, I was pretty grateful for. Um, it wasn't your usual restaurant, you pretty much just walk in, kind of like fast food style, you order and then you pick up your food. Yeah, I guess like if you compare it to back home, like it's a higher quality version of uh, like a famous Dave's, you know? If you get what I'm saying, I don't know. But it was, it was pretty legit. No, it was pretty legit. I also bought my dad uh, their their uh, handmade rubs, or like you know the uh, the spices they use for their rubs. Uh, I got that for my dad because we usually uh, do our own sort of cooking and smoking. Because we have a smoker back home, so my dad usually likes to use the smoker a lot and use it on chicken wings fish, salmon, other random stuff, you know, so, yeah, yeah, hopefully he'll be happy with that, and, uh, I'm working off all this fat now for that game, anyways, uh, yeah, there's much not, there's, there isn't much else I can really say or talk about, so I guess I'll leave it at that, and, uh, I'll catch you guys again when I get to the eyeball. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm here at the giant eyeball and it's actually a bit creepy. Like, it's pretty legit. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you know on those cartoons where they always have like those giant eyeball monsters? Well, I'd say this is a good good uh, representation as to what it would look like in person. That's pretty creepy. 
like the way it glares off and everything, it's pretty accurate. Yeah, so it's private property, so we're not allowed to get in there, unfortunately, and kind of just checking out on our own. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That is really weird. God, <laughs> it's so accurate. Like, they've got the blood veins and everything going through it. Okay, so it doesn't protrude out like it's supposed to. Oh wait, does it? Yeah, it does a bit. Never mind, I take that back. It is pretty accurate from the side too. That's very odd. It's very odd, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Definitely creative, I'll say that. So yeah, there you have it. Giant eyeball, guys. Ta-da! Alright, I'm bored, so keep me company, guys. Kind of by myself. I just got over here to the, I think it's called Mockingbird Station. And, uh, this is, or, like, this area, this Highland Park area, HP area. <laughs> Sorry, no, I went to high school and I, at uh, Highland Park in Minnesota, so. Um, yeah, this area is where the concert's gonna be for tonight. Um, I'm like, Still like three hours early. It's only like I think it's no, it's three. So I'm four hours early. I intend to be at the venue at six. So yeah, since it's open four, I kind of want to get there early. You know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I am early. <laughs> like really early. I'm sort of on my way to Torchy's Tacos because my cousin wanted me to go there. I might as well try it and like I'll get it to go and eat it on the way back. Apparently it's right up the street, so I mean I might as well go. It's just close. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'll get it to go and walk it down. Damn, I feel like I was just about to get run over just now. Like deer in the headlights type of shit. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna jaywalk this real quick. Anyway, I have nothing else to say, so I'll just leave it, to the, leave it at that, and uh, I'll see you at Torchy's Tacos. So, I am at Torchy's now. Torchy's Tacos. Again, it's sort of the... Uh, here it is, Torchy's, Torchy's Tacos. It's sort of run, um, kind of like fast food style. So they bring out the food for you again. Oh, thank you. Oh, shit, I got it. Okay, I have to go get a fork. That's what I got. It's something missionary style off their secret menu. I accidentally grabbed a spoon. Shit, menu. There we go. That's also a spoon. Oh, they're backwards. What the hell? Okay. There we go, now I got the pork. But yeah, this thing looks pretty legit. Um, like, yeah, like, it's good. It's gonna be good. Um, but yeah, rookies tacos. First time trying it. Not sure what to expect, but this is off the secret menu, like I said. This is off the secret menu, so I can only hope it's good. You know, I'm just gonna hold it. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna get back to you guys and make a small review. So, so I just took my first bite and this is godlike. Oh my god! Like it's a fried taco, like corn tortilla in here. And it has like pickled vegetables. The, bark, the chicken, I think it's chicken, I don't know. Like shredded chicken. This is insanely good. This is insanely good. 
I am currently now on my way to the venue. Woo! Uh, about time, finally. I think it said door is open at 6 o'clock and it is currently, I think only still like 5.30. Yeah, 5.24, so pretty much 5.30. Another half hour, door should be open. I'm sort of expecting a line. Um, hopefully there's not, that's the best I could say. I picked, you know, I prioritized my own kind of adventure and uh, experience for the first time in Dallas over getting on early. I think it's like open floor, so first come first serve on the best box. But, you know, I still prioritize experiences. No regrets. I'm not regretting it. Got some good food out of it. Had a good time. Got to check out that, uh, game game. Anyway, yeah, um, I enjoyed my time, the free time that I had all day today. Felt like everything went fairly smoothly. No weird hiccups, no weird bumps, no confusion. Everyone here has been pretty helpful in terms of like, I don't know, getting around. <laughs> Simple things like, uh, I don't know, knowing which way to go or, you know, stuff like that. Aside from that, from that, um, I kind of figure everything out myself. Yeah, I mean, there's not much I, I need to say. I've had a good time. I've had a good time. Now all I gotta do is end it on a good night of the Zion T show. Bring you guys some good footage of that. And yeah, look forward to that. Be excited. Excited. Hey guys, so I just got back to my hotel room. I'm safe. Everything's okay. Uh, that was a great concert. Uh, bad YouTuber, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, anyways, uh, I just got back from the Zion T concert. God, was it amazing. It was so fun. Um, based on the images and photos that you guys are gonna see, or have seen, um, he just had a lot of good fan interactions. You can tell he was having fun with it. He was doing his own thing. Um, and yeah, uh, that's what I got for now. And I have to be up in like, what? Three hours, four hours? Yeah, roughly four hours. Kill me, but you know, it's okay. I'll be asleep on the plane, hopefully. Um, Hopefully it's not as bad as it was coming here. Um, hopefully it'll, it'll be better. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, there you have it. Uh, that's day two of my behind the scenes vlog of this Dallas trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I will see you guys possibly in the next video. Later guys.